Hi there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek. Welcome back to my channel, which has been very quiet for a while. I attempted to uh, do July's Camp NaNoWriMo and even attempted to do some vlogging. It is July 1st, first day of Camp NaNoWriMo. I'm in my Camp NaNoWriMo shirt and everything, but it is 3.45 in the afternoon and I have yet to write a single word that was not simply something I had to do for work. So as you may or may not remember, the tracker I used for Camp NaNoWriMo in April ended up looking like this. More and more numbers as the month went on and colored in lots of things. Let's take a look at July. There's no color here. <laughs> And I don't know if you can actually see any of the numbers, but they start with a whole 25 words on day one. And that's still where we are on day 25. So that kind of fizzled. And I learned a new phrase that I embraced, which is creative hibernation. It wasn't that I was blocked. It was that I really just needed everything to kind of marinate for a bit. And so that's kind of what's been going on with my writing. I've done some more um, Vanish writing just to keep things going. Um, but I don't really talk about the details of that too much on here, so there wasn't a whole lot to vlog about. Now that we're into Preptober, and I definitely have every intention of doing NaNoWriMo, Figured it was time to jump back on the wagon with um, videos as well as prepping for Nano. I should say one other thing that I've been doing is I've been putting some of my creative energies into my gaming channel, um, which I'll link below for anybody who's so inclined, which has taught me actually quite a bit about editing and um, quality of your equipment, which mine is not really what it should be for that. Um, but definitely I've learned a lot uh, in the process and it's just fun. So kind of coming out of the creative hibernation, I've actually just come back from the uh, New Jersey Con Salute to Supernatural, and that has me very charged up, revved up. Um, even though my characters have diverged very much from the ones who inspired them at this point, um, that energy is still kind of moving things forward. Um, and I've decided kind of lean into something that I had been seeing as a weakness in my thinking about structure. When I started as an adult writing fan fiction, I started with book-based fandoms, namely the Borkosigan Saga and the Harry Potter books. Um, when I was a kid, uh, if you recall from way back um, I, my fan fiction was actually me attempting to guest write episodes for my favorite shows, and thank goodness I never mailed them anywhere. <laughs> Twelve-year-old me was just so... yeah. More recently, I've been writing TV-based fandoms, so Doctor Who, Torchwood, and now Supernatural. Buffy, too. Buffy and Angel. Firefly. Um, so I've gotten used to writing to the rhythm of a TV episode. I think I'm just going to lean into that. Instead of trying to make some other types of structures work, I'm thinking that what I'll do during this Preptober is map out the story in terms of episodes and seasons. Episodes basically being chapters and seasons being books. Of which I think there will be four, possibly five, because this just keeps growing. Um, 
that just seems to be how my mind works best now. And I think that's going to help me contain some of the things that were getting away from me and flesh out some of the things that were escaping me by just, like I said, leaning into this um, mindset of looking at it like a show, even though I'm going to write it like a book. And we'll see how that works um, when it comes time to actually <laughs> do anything with it. But um, I think future videos for Preptober may include things like how you can use tools like Freytag's Pyramid um, on that structure, on the on the five act TV show structure, and on the overall season arc structure, um, in order to locate individual episodes. Um, in addition to also using it to structure the individual chapters slash episodes. Or at least my attempt to do so. I don't know if there's any sources out there that talk about doing this. If there are, please tell me about them in comments because I could use all the help I can get. <laughs> if I find any, I will gladly share them with you. One source that I have returned to is um, let me pull it out and get the title right. Creating Character Arcs. Um, there are some really good um, prompting questions to help kind of get at what's going on with the character, and I found that really helpful kind of delving into my main character Vi's psyche um, and kind of upping the ante on things, you know, what is the lie that she believes? Well, the first one I came up with was kind of superficial, so I had to dig deeper. What What is actually driving her behavior? What lie is driving her behavior that she's going to have to learn better than? Um, and things like that. I highly recommend this book, whether in audiobook or uh, paper format. Uh, if it exists in paper format, I've only ever looked for audiobook versions, so I don't know. So that's one of the sources I've been using and have returned to that um, I've listened to before, loved before, and now I'm really digging in a little more with some of the exercises to uh, get some more depth in my character development, uh, which will help drive the plot forward. Because you can't have a plot if you don't have characters doing the plot. So that's it for now. Short and sweet. Um, basically, Yes, I'm still here. <laughs> I haven't completely gone away. Yes, I'm doing Nano this year. And yes, there will be some more videos this month. I'm not sure how many or how often, but uh, there will be at least a couple, I think. Um, and uh, I look forward to going along this Nano journey with any of you who are still watching. <laughs> Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.